So this is um, slides of a, of a model that was uh, built to illustrate a, a design concept for a intersection redevelopment um, where State Street meets Cabrillo Boulevard. You're driving down the middle of Cabrillo right now. State moves from right to left and heads for Stearns Wharf. And it was a design that, uh, that was a, pe a pedestrian and an automotive uh, fountain of sorts built around a geometric large circle. And uh, it was in response to a competition that had been going on downtown for a small fountain in that area. And um, I had been encouraged to go down and look at that area by a client. I was a painter at the time and I had no architectural or city planning uh, experience, but I decided to go down and I saw uh, a problem that was not really in need of a fountain. It was, a, it was an intersection that had so many separate parts that, that a fountain would be one more part that didn't fit. And um, so I decided uh, naively and maybe uh, unknowingly to indicate uh, maybe a whole intersection needed to be redeveloped. And this shows um, uh, how an integration of Cabrillo and State might have looked. You can see the architecture is very similar as you look down State Street. Um, it was comprised of four fountains and um, it incorporated an area that was currently occupied by landowners in the city of Santa Barbara so there was a, a sort of a brash indication that maybe the landowners would participate. And uh, I put together a quarter model and went to the city, got encouragement from the city planners. They suggested I make a full model. And this is, uh, this is the model brought down to the site. And you can see here what it might have looked like with the, uh, with the ocean as a background. This is the section where it would have made it with the Stearns Wharf on the left. And you can see how, how the bike path would still be in, in the beach area. Um, what's noteworthy to me, as I look back on it, is that this was a, this was a, a bold move by maybe a citizen who had uh, no training in this area. But what, what occurred to me was that if there was an idea, and the idea was of any value, that I needed to follow through with it, regardless of what might happen. Well, what did happen was for two years, it was in the city plan, and it, uh, it was, um, a, a large committee was developed. The Corps of Engineers was involved. In fact, this is a corner where the creek is right now. So you can see we would have filled in the creek. The, the creek was gonna be relocated the landowners on either side would then have uh, a, a promenade to the fountain and they would have been able to uh, develop beachfront seating. And the, the, the idea was that, you know, this was the foot of Stearns Wharf was the beginning of State Street. And at this time in the 80s, it had been, it had been neglected. It was not even connected to State Street because the freeway hadn't been uh, installed yet or I mean the freeway hadn't been uh, built as it is now. There were stoplights. Uh, so the concept was that maybe the citizens really had a right to this area and that this should be built as a place that would attract ordinary people to come down, maybe integrate with the tourists and, and have a chance to call this their own area. Now, uh, it was um, a model that we, that we built I had never built a model before, and I, I, I had a lot of fun, as you can tell. And um, all of these, these uh, images are designed to, to play to traditional Santa Barbara architecture. And probably the most noteworthy signature aspect of the project was the palm trees. Um, Cabrillo Boulevard was originally designed by the Olmsted brothers, America's most well-known landscape architects and the palm trees coming down the boulevard would have hit the plaza and there would have been a ring uh, of palm trees, a circle of palm trees in the sky at the in the same configuration as the geometric circle on, on the plan view. And you would have actually noticed, you would have seen that as a, 
in your car as a, as a large circle in the sky. And uh, here is just an illustration of all the pieces and parts that we, that we made. The roof was laid up individually. The, the umbrellas were made. Um, you, see a, uh, you see what it might have been like looking from the upper level down to the beach. And this is a, a section of the, of the model that where as you went through, you would have gone to the Beacons building, which was going to be a parking ramp. Here you get an idea of the simplicity of the, of the commercial setting and the, and the residents who could come down to the, to the park area. You can see the, the importance of the palm trees in a situation like this. Now, this project went on for two years and it was not built. Uh, this is an interesting view of, of what it might have been like to, to discover the plaza from openings in the, in the back of the, uh, of the buildings. The, the plaza was not, uh, the project was not built. Uh, I ha have a chance to look back on it, and the thing that strikes me is that it's important for us who, who have ideas to follow through with them. The ideas are opportunities, and you never know what it's going to contribute in the long run. Um, the city right now is grappling with the same problems. They're, they're dealing with the same landowners trying to decide what to do about the creek. And uh, this may play a role just in their subconscious minds. <laughs>